Okay. Welcome back to Zimdog. As you see, the like the best baits for the silver carp white seem to change like daily. Uh, by the way, Kyle Kid pointed out that these records do change on a regular basis. I'm not sure if it's exactly every 24 hours, but it's pretty regular, right? The old records like shrivel up and shrink is the way I've heard it described, and then that you know those as those fish get smaller bigger fish are being caught replacing the older records which i think is an interesting system uh, i think i like it overall i do you know kind of like there being some maybe like stable records as well but okay so chocolate anise and garlic i guess overall it just looks like these types of things are working a little better why don't we do garlic and anise? I think that means I need a second one of those weird hooks, right? So this one's got it on there. We're going to go with uh, anise on this one. And then I don't think... Yeah, you have to buy those hooks individually. So we need to get another size to one of these and install it on here. And this one will do garlic. Did I do garlic on both? We do have to go down to the smaller, um, The smaller thing to go into the weight limit. All right, and then we have an experience quest for Golden Crucian. We can also catch Golden Crucian in that same spot. At least we were yesterday. Bloodworm seems to be the way to go. So zero hook with Bloodworm. So let's see if we can finish this off today. I guess we'll put put them in the water and then we'll go grab our boat. We're gonna try this same spot again one more time. If we don't get them here. In, a, in the next, I don't know, a little while. Perhaps we should consider... Um, yeah, just trying a different spot. Alright, we're going to go straight away here. And then we're going to angle it just a little to the right this time on this one. We didn't do garlic on both, did we? Nope, anise and garlic. Perfect. And then here we want to go bloodworm. Maybe we will start off with... Um, A one size hook let's see if that catches golden crucians if it doesn't we'll switch to um, to zero hook that is the daily here so if we can catch those pretty quick we'll do the daily it's good good silver good experience and an angler token so always worth it if we can get this done in a reasonable amount of time then I think we'll um, maybe go to Russia and try to finish up the bronze quest there as well. Uh, although maybe we should check and see what the dailies are before committing to that. Sometimes the dailies at some of the other maps, the DLC maps, other maps can be so appealing that it's silly not to just go do them, but we'll see. We should have time over here to kind of check things out. All right, so we want to be able to get in the boat pretty easily. Let's just go ahead and grab it while we're in here. Just in case it was big. I think we're fine, though.
All right, let's see if this is a golden crucian. It just seems like a zero hook would be better. They're not getting that big here, right? Uh, that is a golden crucian, though. All right, I, I think a zero is going to work just as good, but we'll see. I guess if we start pulling in some kind of smaller fish for some reason, we'll... We'll know not to do that, but we should be good. Alright, see, this is hopefully going to be another gold crucian. It may even be a bigger one now that we're using the appropriate size hook. No, nope, that's a perch, isn't it? I don't think that like necessarily disproves anything, though. I'm tempted to put a smaller leader size on to see if that helps. But when you take off a used leader in this game, the leader gets destroyed. So maybe we won't do that just yet. Okay, so let's just kind of think about if this spot doesn't work, where do we want to try? Come on, be a golden crucian. We need to catch a high percentage of these to actually have a chance of making it on the daily quest. Is that a rud? We'll give it one more fish, and then we'll switch back to size one, <laughs> I guess. It's a nice rud, but... Uh, let's see. We could go try down here, maybe? This looks like a pretty nice spot for him. What does it say about him, actually? Non-predatory food fish, large, enduring. It's kind of, you know, kind of typical thing it would say about a carp. I think of them as more similar to grass carp or something, so I think of them more as being in the weeds and stuff, but that might not be the right way of thinking of them at all. They might be like just as common over here where I know like there's good carp fishing over here. They might be over there just as much. We just, you know, we I fished that spot a lot with strawberries both in this series as well as on my main account beforehand. And um, I don't remember seeing those over there. That's why, you know, when somebody said they were catching them over here, I was like, okay, that must be the, that must be where they're more common to be at, but. We could also try like further up that way. You know, there's some pretty good little fishing spots over there.
All right, I think I'm going to a zero hook. I mean, back to a one hook. Something about it. I don't know. That's weird. It doesn't make sense to me that... We'll see. Well, if we catch a Golden Crucian on one now, it's going to be really confusing, but whatever. We'll take it. We just need to get back on them. All right, let's see what it is. do start to wonder like is there something that would be better for golden crucian at least rule out some of the other fish species using worm blood worm maggot it seems like it catches so many things it brings like perch into the equation maybe there's a way we could try to take some of those out of the equation um we could try pearl barley if silvers aren't around. But maybe more of the like doughy stuff or even bread. What all do we have here? We do have silver bream here, roach. No crucian though. No crucian, so it'd be interesting to try bread, for example. Rudd might not go for bread. I mean, we might limit our options. Man, these... Um, here, let's recast this one. But these are taking forever. I mean, I guess I'm hoping that that means, you know, that maybe it will catch what we're intending it to catch because it's so slow on the other carp, but that may not be the case. Isn't it weird? As soon as we recast it, you know, we almost immediately got a fish. All right, so this is on the garlic, right? Looks like we're going on a ride. Chase that carp. We should be able to tell pretty quick if we can get a look at it. Look at that. The water ripples going across with its movement. So cool. This carp definitely took off in a way that some of them haven't. So maybe that's a promising sign. But it could just be another 10 kilo mirror. I don't know. I don't know. We've been through so, so many carp at this point not getting a silver. I'm like skeptical. We should get a look at it here shortly. Feeling good about it? 
I mean, come on. Come on now. We did it. So, so garlic ended up being the garlic ended up being the one, huh? get this out of the water we don't actually want to catch any more carp we want to see how quickly we can get this done if at all we're gonna try some experimental baits here see if we can move this one along if not then we'll move on to Russia that's a rud Until I confirm that something else is going to work, we'll keep Bloodworm on one of them. But, alright, let's go to our, our smaller setups here. Um, bread. And maybe, um, maybe pearl barley. And we're trying different hook sizes too. Pearl barley has size one. Bread has size zero. We'll see if that's, that silver carp is worth any silver. That was a nice one. A large, 11.2 kilos. I like it. Oh yeah, almost 70 silver. So Twizzle was saying that on the larger maps, at least when you get the bronze metal, maybe it unlocks tra travel points sometimes. It's kind of interesting. Maybe that's why we have more travel points now at the starter pond. There we go. That was on Bloodworm. Okay, so let's see if there's silver bream over here. I kind of have a feeling. I don't know. I don't know if Golden Crucians will go for poor barley a ton or not. But I figured it was worth trying. Nah, that's a Golden Crucian. One point one five eight trophy roach. He just caught that on maggots. All 
All right, second fish is a roach on pearl barley. So for one, we're one for two on pearl barley, but we're like, you know, like two for six or something on um, on bloodworm. So bread took a while to get the first bite. This is zero hook, but I am wondering how much would go for bread. I mean, roach maybe, but golden crucian should be a reasonable hit rate, I would think. Yeah, there we go. That just finished our experience quest. So that's good. We will absolutely take a Golden Crucian Club Supply Quest. Okay. So if I'm understanding how the club thing works with taxes... Wait, where are the taxes? Oh, here we go. All right, so if we do 1% taxes, okay? At the end of the week, all of the taxes collected, whoever does the most contributions towards the club ex level, club experience, will get the highest portion of those taxes back. I think that's how it works. So we'll see. We'll see. So right now, 1% of people's income is going to the club. And then to motivate people to get experience points towards the club, they get money back and based on the percentage of XP they got for the club. That's my understanding of it. So we'll experiment with it at 1%. I don't think anybody will care. If you do care, please let me know. I'll shut it down. It's not a big deal to me. It's kind of a fun little system. Kyle Kidd sh uh, shared with me a sort of translated thing of, of the developer Wolf explaining a little bit about how it works. That was my understanding of it. Look at this, by the way. We might should just switch to bread. This is a nice one. 973. But the size of that, like we'll finish this daily in no time. Um, 973, like that's a pretty good crucian. Uh-oh. I bet this will be a roach. There's no way we're going to have a 100% bite rate on bread, right? Or will we? If this is another one, then we really, we should just switch to bread straight across. No, that's a rud. All right, we'll keep going like we are for now. Give it a little more time, see how these three baits work. I do think these are three reasonably good baits. Maybe you could argue... Pearl barley might be the weakest if it stays at the at this level of bite rate. And the downside is because we're taking golden crucians towards quests, they're not staying in our inventory. I wonder if we would end up catching a 1.3 kilos of roach while we're going for crucians. I mean, the worst case scenario is we just cancel it when we leave, right? We can put these straight towards it. That already, already puts us at 781 grams. And this will give us eight salmon roe. Considering those roach are not going to be worth almost nothing to sell them, I think that's totally worth it if we can finish it. We get eight salmon roe. I don't always do consumable quests, but in a situation like this, Salmon Row, pretty nice to have and not always easy to come by at lower level especially. Roach, just not very valuable. So I think I like this. And suddenly we're catching a lot of roach. So
So I think some of these quests that we've got now are because we've bronzed the map, right? Like you get access to new quests once you've done that. Oh, we should look, see what, what fish on the lake do we have to silver? All right, silver bream, loach, chub, carp, frog, rud, golden crucian, grass pike, mirror carp, tench, koi, channel catfish, silver carp white, which we were close, but we need a little bit larger. So this will be a fun one to try to get some of these silver medals um, progress made. Let's try to bronze as, as many places as we can first. And then we can um, then we can think about going back and trying to silver some stuff. I figured this was going to be a carp. Which is a reasonable, like, I'm glad we still have the boat nearby. On bread especially, it seems like that's, you know, possibility. Every once in a while we'll hit a carp. All right, I think this is only the second or third fish off pearl barley. So let's see if this is a golden again. Ooh, it is. I don't remember... If we've caught anything other than golden on the pearl barley, we'll have to keep track of that. It's been a little slow, but we've had some goldens come in. Pearl, I mean, blood worms has been the worst ratio of goldens, but it's been the best bar bite rate by, by a long shot. So it's a reasonable exchange, I think. This is a golden. Oh, we're totally getting there, hopefully. Uh, I bet this is another carp. I wish it'd be a golden, though. We might have a, a pond record here. Oh, the pearl barley's going off. Let's see if pearl barley can keep up the streak. I'm afraid this is going to be a small carp right here, though. Come on. Come on. Oh, that is a golden, y'all, right? 1.159. We've caught our biggest goldens on bread. Oh, if this is a golden, we just finished the daily, right? And we can, we'll just switch everything to maggots real quick, finish off the roach too. All right, we just got that club XP. Oh, it's another nice golden. It's another one. All right. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Maggots. Another nice one. Maggots. We're going all in on roach here, hopefully. Too bad. I like it. I like it. Oh. Yeah, I think it's still 100% on pearl barley, if I'm not mistaken. So we need 1.3 kilos for, um, for the silver. We can just hit this roach pretty quick. We should have plenty of time at Russia. Oh, let's look at quests real quick. Okay. Um, 
What is Russia? All right, Thousand Island is Golden Shiner. So that's kind of an easy one, and you get Golden Shiner uh, baits. You turn them into basically like, you know, bait fish. Muxon. Can we target Muxon very well? I don't know, maybe. Where was Russia? Germany, Russia. Oh, Russia. Oh, yeah, any fish for Russia. That's right. All right, hopefully one of these two maggots will be a roach, and we're going to move on. There's some salmon roe. Oh, if this is a roach, it's probably a large roach or close to it. Oh, it's a golden. One point one nine seven. That's getting really close. So maybe we need to remember that maggots, maggots, bloodworm, pearl barley, or bread. I don't know. We've got some good options. Good options for the golden crucians. We'll take 30 more silver. Anything we need to um, stack up on here. I don't think so. I think we're good. Oh wait, did they sell the, um... no, okay, I think we're good. All right, let's go finish this at Russia. I mean, I kind of want to hit the shiners, but we're so close to, um, I, I say we're so close. We got to still finish, figure, figure out a couple things, but we at least, I think, know where to go for the carp on this map. And then past that, the other fish, I don't know how hard they're going to be. We've got, what, like two others to bronze Russia? All right, we definitely want to do that. Silver bream are pretty easy. Um, silver bream are pretty easy here. Some decent income too for three silver bream. I might take that for now. Okay. There's also some perch synergy going. All right, so we want to go up to this dock here, right? Let's get on our motorboat and get there. Wait, where's our boat? Wait, shoot. Um, um, what's the fastest way to get a chub? Ruben fly fly. All right. Is that what this is? Yeah, that's what this is. Uh, hold on. We got to catch it in like two minutes though. I feel like I've caught him over here. Sorry, I haven't even verbalized what I'm trying to do here. There's literally a tournament going on right now for uh, Chubb. So we want to go that way for the carp, but I'm going to try to do this really quick.
it's like we're not far enough down the river for the um, current to be going kicking in yet. That's what it looks like. But we're going to run out of time. Let's just go over here and try to get it. I don't even see it. Did I throw it into the grass? We've got like 20 seconds. Ten seconds. All right. It's a valiant effort. We're almost level nineteen. So I'm assuming we can get off on this little dock thing, right? So we need bleak, carp, and zope. I mean, I feel like we can find a bleak somewhere, right? But zope, I have no idea. Zope is a red book, so it might be rare. I, I don't know. Okay, so first of all, let's get carp. Uh, we're gonna go size two hook and potatoes. I think I'm gonna set up right over here. I did not go as far as I thought it would. Oh, it's because I didn't put any ground bait in there. And size two hook and corn. Okay. So, Zope are probably bloodworm bleak are also possibly bloodworm so the first thing i want to try is float out here what is it surface yeah that's fine let's just see if we get anything to, to get to bite right here
I'm going to go ahead and put some ground bait on this one too. And then move it slightly this way. Yeah, it's deeper. So somehow we th threw into the like one meter area on this one. Yeah, it's like right of, okay, we'll see. We probably ought to move them both a little bit left. Just try a few different spots here. A few different spots, a few different depths. Bleak or weird here, but that should work. Zope, we may try wilt and mealworms a little bit maybe, but. All right, I'm gonna assume we just hit a carp. There's the carp. All right, so let's go with, um, just real quick, let's see if there are any, any silver bream back here. Oops. I wouldn't mind catching another carp. I don't think this was in the right spot though. The carp will help with the daily a ton. If we can catch a nice couple of decent carp. All right, this isn't working. So let's see, let's go a little farther away, but still over in the shallower area. Not a good sign. I'm gonna go back to very shallow again and I'm gonna try over here. All right, before we go deeper, let's try to like in the lilies. Come on, be a zope. Feel better about getting a zope first than a bleak. Golly, I couldn't see it, but it's not because it was called. It was because I couldn't see it.
All right, is this a silver bream? Not sure, actually. Large dace. Did I just screw it up? I'm not even sure if it was a bite, but I think it was. Alright, one more. Oops. One more, then we'll switch the depth. Oh no, bleak here seemed to be a little, a little finicky. Getting the dace though. Isn't this corn? Like, I, I figured corn was going to be killing it on carp. Potatoes got one quick. So let's try, first of all, let's look at the depth right here. Let's try going down to 85 depth. This is way too slow. So let's do an experiment with this one. Let's set this up at zero hook and let's try mealworm, see what happens. Kind of over here into this deeper area. That's just not doing anything. I don't know what to try. We go two meters deep right over here. I don't know. Did we find a zope? What the dace? 
Dace all over the place. We are in Dace Central. Prefers depth. It does say that they prefer depth. What does it say about bleak? Top water. And we knew that to be true. All right, so this is probably not deep enough to catch a, um, probably not deep enough to catch a zope and probably, um, gonna send it out here at the top even though it's like deeper over there we've got the bait at the very top see if that works now we do know that you know um, bleak are okay with current at least in you know other fishing games so maybe we end up getting the bleak and possibly the uh, zope for that matter on a different part of this river we've already gotten the carp so we can move I mean, the deepest places appear to be these, like, dark spots, right? So, so we could go back up to, like, around here where we were getting the silvers. Although, it feels like we might have um, tried for bleak up there already. Not sure. All right, I think we should go try some other spots. Just not feeling it for bleak. I'm not sure about Zope here. And we got the one carp we wanted. And I'm not too worried about the daily. Like, I'd rather bronze this place than focus on trying to hit the daily. So... I guess let's try, let's try our uh, Sterlet hole first. I mean, there might be Zope there that we might be able to catch Bleak off of that little shore. So we'll make the corner and go up to here. Try there first. great if we could just hit a, hit a bleak, you know? Maybe that's too close to the shore. Ooh. Oh my goodness. He's dace, man. Holy cow.
Are Dace and Bleak not allowed to coexist in this game? Maybe Dace are off the river, off the current part, and Bleak are on the current part. I don't know. Have we ever tried trolling this place? I, I don't know if it really feels like this would be like an awesome place to troll, but there's so much river. I mean, you could just troll up and down these rivers. I guess the question is, what would you really be catching? I mean, you know, chub and asp maybe? Grass carp? I mean, sorry, grass pike? Saberfish if you're lucky? I don't know. Was that yeah 33 so we want to get around 33 here to get into the depth all right that's 30 uh, we could probably go ahead and finish our um, Silver Bream income quest right at the same time. Come on, Bleak. Come on, Bleak. Oh, it's drifting away from me. Let's check mealworm first. This might be a regular bream, huh? It's a nice silver if it's a silver. Crucian. <laughs> D 
Did we put a zero hook on this? I think so. An eyed. Try blood worm. How's this not a good spot for Bleak? This game doesn't do something weird like where you have to use, you know, some kind of like bolo or something on a river, does it? If there's a current? Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. All right, we got the bleak. All right, we literally have one fish to focus on. I'm going to give it one try down here where it is like pretty deep. Um, I mean, it's deep here. It's deep here. It's also deep up there. We'll try it up there. We know we can probably hit our silver bream up there as well if we want to. 
set up two lines for Zope, one line for Silver. Alright, so what do we want to try? Um, worm and Bloodworm for now, maybe? Okay, so we want to get about 27 out. It's set at 30. Point three roach. Okay. My goodness. Where do we hit the zope? It doesn't say they're like a nighttime only. This is our silver bream line. We want to catch three silver bream for 54 silver. This is also uh, the silver bream spot where a trophy has been caught, which is interesting. Very large silver bream. We'll take it. Okay, this one is worms. Might be a little too big to be a zope, right? We're wanting something to come in that's probably going to be around 400, 500 grams unless we happen to hit a big one. Maybe less than that, even. It's a rud. It's a large rud. Okay. This is blood worm. Okay. This could be it. I think. Come on, big money. I, it looks like a little rud, yeah. yeah. You don't like that when you see two of the same fish come out. Oh, 
on this old bait list at least it also suggests that bread and dough can work so we could try bread Bl uh, bread might block out the rud a little bit maybe We'll see what this is. Ooh, another silver. I'd kind of rather take out the worm than the blood worm. So let's just wait a minute. Let's see if we what we catch next on um, on worm. I don't know, how many fish does it feel like we've caught here? A couple silver bream and plus all these. Maybe a, the carp we turned into. I mean, so there's been a few fish. All of our fish together have added to 7.6 kilos. Counting the carp that was probably like one and a half kilos or something. We're catching tiny fish here at Russia today. That's a perch. I'm gonna go. Tr I'm gonna try bread. I'm gonna try bread. Zero hook bread. It's worth it. Worth the try. I don't see how this works. It says we have five development. How do I? It's kind of confusing. Wait, what is that? An eyed on our blood worm? We also caught an eyed on the mealworm. I guess the other that's the other thing we could try again is mealworm. But it doesn't feel like it's any more likely to work and it's a more expensive bait. See what we got on bread here. What else is going to eat bread? Got to be less things than all the worm stuff. Oh, gold of of course, silver bream. Of course. All right, there went our income quest. Oh, we're so close to level level 19. I can smell it. All right, we ought to take off so line three we ought to put on mealworm or worm really just give this a fair shake see if we can't get lucky on a on a zope right here in this hole before daytime's over so what do we want to do mealworm uh, worm or mealworm let's look at the records again see if either one of them shows up more than once i think mealworm was the top one but the only one that was mealworm it's another eyed, folks. All 
I'm going to try to catch one more. <laughs> one more. Um, Silver Bream on line three. Just because this is like the time of day when that trophy was brought out, I think. And it was on that bait. <laughs> It's just slowed down to almost nothing, hasn't it? I think we've only caught two, no, no, one fish on the mayfly. Even the rudd are getting caught on bread. All right, if we still don't have something on mayfly by the time we get in the bloodworm, then I'm gonna switch mayfly out for um, maybe millworm to start off with. Oh, I was gonna look at the record again. It's that time of day. Bite rate is picking up. That's a perch. Too big. Just one worm too. All right, we'll try mealworm. I might do a little bit shorter clip, like not even not even a clip, just a shorter cast. Just see what happens. I mean, we don't have to go very far here and get into some depth. Yeah, because these two are like practically in the same little spot. We're catching just bigger and bigger fish. Maybe I'll take this clip off too and go a little shorter. I mean, we're just getting like, you know, so many eyed and rud. That is a nice rud. By the way. As long as if it's four meters, I think I think I think it's fine. I think that's fine. It's gotta be soon or it's not gonna happen. Oh, please be a tiny zope. Please be a tiny zope. It's a rough. It's nighttime now, isn't it? Is it considered nighttime now? What does it say about rough? Does it say anything about preferring preferring depth on those? No. It doesn't. Not a rough. What the eyed? I 
I don't think we're going to get it. So if anybody knows a good soap spot, let me know. Uh, to be fair, it does say they're like red book, which sometimes means they're pretty rare. Um, but usually they're not impossible to get with a little bit of patience. I think we just got to find the right, right hole to fish out of. Oh, what in the world? A zero hook? And that's what you're going to do to me? Let me get rid of that catfish. I guess it is nighttime. <clears throat> I just don't really expect the, um, wait, what? We're out of bloodworm. Just in case we catch another bream here. I wonder if we could catch Zope like just off one of those docks right near the starting area. Well, that's not really deep though, is it? This could be a bream. Boom. All right, let's see what, if anything, has changed. I don't see any additional travel points, at least not here. Um, quest. No additional quests, at least right now. Uh, let's see. It did give us credit though, right? Yep, there's the Russian one. Okay. All right. All right, cool, we got it. And we hit 19 as well. That was a big zope, bigger than what I was expecting. Okay. Oh, fish on lake. Let's see which ones are silvers. All right. So let's see. Oh yeah, you can see it. All right. Common nace, which we've already caught, thankfully. That'd be an annoying one. Burbot, that'd be fun. Crayfish, fun. Rud, shouldn't be too bad. 
gudgeon, dace, roach, grass pike, rough, bream, silver bream, crucian, mollusk, zope. Zope, we've got a silver for the silver. Yikes. Sterlet, leech, saberfish, asp, chub, tench, golden perch. There's a lot to do here. There is a lot to do here. All right, so let's create a label. Um, Zope possible. Worm. Bloodworm, mealworm, bread, cast into deep. All right. Okay. All right, folks. It's getting late here in Fisher Online. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. We got two silver medals, to, I mean, bronze medals tonight. That's awesome. Uh, I will see you next time. Tight lines. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll get a, another chance to record very soon. All right, peace out.